Hi, in this video I want to overview what we have done this week. We have overviewed so-called task-oriented dialogue systems. And our dialogue system looks like the following. We get the speech from the user and we can convert it to text using ASR, or we can get text like in chatbots. Then comes natural language understanding that gives us intents and slots from that, from that natural language. Then there is a magic box called Dialogue Manager, and it actually does two things. It tracks the dialogue state and it learns the dialogue policy, what should be done and what the user actually wants. The Dialogue Manager can query backend like uh, Google Maps or Yelp or any other, and then it has to say something to the user, and we need to convert the text from Dialogue Manager to speech with some natural language generation. The red boxes here are the parts of the system that we don't overview because that will take a lot of time. And it can actually work without those systems. You can take the user input as text, so you will not need ASR. Then you can output your, um, your respond to, response to the user as a text as well, so you don't need natural language generation. And you can, you, sometimes you don't need backend action to solve the user's task. We have overviewed in details natural language understanding and dialogue manager. And let me remind you, you can train slot tagger and intent classifier, which are basically NLU, and you can train them separately or jointly. And when you do that jointly, that yields better results. You can train NLU and dialogue manager separately or jointly, and it will give you better results as well. You can use handcrafted rules sometimes, for example, for dialogue policy or for state tracking. But learning from data actually works better if you have time for that. Let me remind you how we evaluate NLU and Dialog Manager. For NLU, we use turn level metrics like intent, accuracy, and slots F1. For Dialog Manager, there are two kinds of metrics. The first is turn level metrics. That means that after every turn in the dialog, we track, let's say, state accuracy or policy accuracy. And there are dialog level metrics like success rate whether this dialogue solved the problem of the user or not, or what reward we got when we solved that problem of the user. The reward could be the number of turns, and we want to minimize that turns so that we solve that task for the user faster. And uh, here actually is the question. We have NLU and Dialog Manager and if we uh, train them separately, we actually uh, we, we want to understand uh, what errors, how the errors of NLU affect the final quality of our dialog manager. Here on the left, on the horizontal, um, on the vertical axis, we have success rate, and uh, on the right, on the same axis, we have average number of turns in the dialog, and we have. Um, three colors in the legend. The blue one is when we don't have any NLU errors. The green one is when we have 10% of the errors in NLU. And the red one is when we have 20% of errors in our NLU. And you can see what happens. When you have a huge error in NLU, the success rate of your task actually decreases, and the number of turns needed to solve that task where there was a success actually increases. So it takes more time for the user uh, to solve his task and the chance of solving that task is lower. So, but uh, NLU actually consists of intent classifier and slot tagger. So let's see which one is more important. Let's look um, what happens when we change the intent error rate. It looks like it doesn't affect the quality, the success rate of our dialogue that much, and the dialogues don't become that much longer. So it looks like intent error is, um, is not as important as slot tagging. And we will see uh, now why. Because when you, when you introduce the same uh, amount of error in slot tagging, that actually decreases your success rate of the dialogue dramatically. And it seems that slot tagging error is actually the main, um, the main problem of our, of our success rate. 
so it looks like we need to concentrate on slot tagger. And that can give you some insight when you want to train a joint model, when you have a loss for intent and a loss for uh, slot tagging. You can actually come up with some weights for them so that the intuition is the following. It seems like a slot tagging loss should have uh, a bigger weight because it is more important for the, um, for the success of the whole dialogue. Let me summarize. We have overviewed how task-oriented dialogue system looks like, and we have overviewed in depth NLU component and dialogue manager component. So this is the basic knowledge that you will need to build your own task-oriented dialogue system. So that's it for this week. I wish you good luck with your final project.